name is Janice Russell, and I'm the director of the Lafayette Inspirational Ensemble. Because we range from eight members to 35. At any point, we can be an ensemble. <laughs> it's kind of hard to call it eight people a choir. An ensemble brings to mind a closer group than perhaps a choir. We like that closeness. Lafayette Inspirational Ensemble is based out of Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church. It's a nice collection of Presbyterians, Catholics, Baptists, Pentecostal, a nice ensemble of people. It is about the music, but it's about the music coming out of us. You don't have to be a professional singer. You do have to be able to carry a tune, but it's not so much about the quality of the individual voice as the quality of the voices together and the look that it presents and the feeling that comes across. We're all different, but we can all get together and make beautiful music. And you can always tell when it's true and when it's not. We just finished our 17th anniversary, it, uh, so we're going into our 18th year. It started out as an offshoot of a trio that we had, which was two voices and a bass fiddle. We had so many people coming up to us saying, oh, I want to sing with the trio, I want to sing. So we thought, why not start a gospel choir? Nice thing for a Presbyterian church. <laughs> We sing mainly in the church once a month, but we usually do something outside of the church once a month also, and we've done some, some interesting things. We did the very first Tribeca Film Festival, the opening from, the, uh, from City Hall, from the steps of City Hall. We've performed with Taj Mahal in a rock opera, Slain in the Spirit. Also, we sing at lots of nice small little churches, because uh, that's what we're mainly about, singing to the glory of God. Back in 2005, Cindy Sheehan came to Brooklyn to speak, and uh, we had a rally at Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church. There's a number that we do about war, so we were going to sing a number before she arrived. She was late, and we sang, and we sang, and we sang, and it just so happened that Phil Donahue was here at the church for the rally because he's against the war and into peace. He heard us and he really liked what, uh, what we did, so he told us that he was going to be doing a documentary on the war and uh, asked if we would do the music. About a year after that, he came and we sang and we were filmed for that documentary. For the most part, things come to us and we basically see where God leads us and we follow where he leads. <laughs> 